here is my dilemma today so I was emptying my dishwasher I'm not sure if you can see this but my uh, dishes still have some of the food residue so I thought let me do a little bit of investigation to find out why so this is a common issue and this is a stainless steel dishwasher fairly new this is a GE um, I think this is a cafe brand uh, or model or whatever that may be so GE is the producer and the cafe is the series uh, forgot the, the, the model number so the problem is my dishes are not coming uh, clean so here are a few issues first thing I realized that my water temperature was low uh, the reason being we were on vacation so I turn off turn down the water temperature and I turn it up but I did not turn it up all the way where it's supposed to be so that could be one of the reasons other one is it's my filter is clogged up so before I start the video unfortunately uh, I was not planning to do a video I was just checking and I did remove my filter and cleaned it so so in this particular model this is your filter you unlock it so it's pretty clean because I already cleaned it so that's one then you have to remove this silver it's a tray as well it's a filter that's your that's where your drain so let me do that so there are two little they're not little two screws plastic so you remove those ones then you take this one out like that okay it's maybe gross oh somewhat and you might able to see I have some debris in my reservoir including a toothpick so that may be the reason that I am getting uh, not getting my dishes clean properly so what I'm going to do I'm just going to clean those things and put it back in and clean the rest of wire uh, I was able to remove this is one of the, the spray spray nozzles so I'm going to clean that use a, a toothpick if I have to to clean these jets and I will put that back in I could not remove this one so I do not know but I'll figure it out so uh, let me clean that and put it back in there then I am going to put a cup of vinegar right here uh, then I'll run the cycle so let me finish cleaning and then come to the next part I clean this mesh I also clean the filter and this little part is the one that uh, helps to hold the uh, filter so that came out and now it's it's washed as well now I had to make sure that I clean the edges of these things because this is the seal so these things can be full of dirt as well because machine is cleaning in internal but not the outside so these seals had to be clean so here we go so I clean much as possible now second step is to put a cup of vinegar so I put a cup of vinegar over here now I'm going to run this thing a short but hot cycle I'm going to uh, finish cleaning this part those are my jets that's the one that will go over here and then I'm going to attach it really really easy just a matter of tightening this one uh, or loosening it to get it out uh, I will use a toothpick and clean uh, these little nozzles to make sure that they are working 
properly as well. So let me go ahead and uh, put this thing on, then run a cycle. I attach the, the top nozzles over here, easily went in on the bottom one. I put back my screen, attached it with those, uh, tightening them up, tightening them, and I put back my filter. Now it's time to put this, put the machine on. So here are the options that I have with this machine. So I have auto, then heavy, normal, light, however with the light if I try to do wash temperature they say that is not available so I can't do that one so I had to go rinse also it's not available so auto sense then I can do boost so that's the best I could do so I'm going to run this one because I want to make sure that it runs on uh, hot uh, very hot uh, water temperature so let me just go and start that okay so it's running um, I'm gonna let it run for a while then clean it I washed it uh, it's much cleaner now so it's completely clean I'm going to throw this out it's full of water so just get rid of that all right second step so I didn't put the, the bottom tray I'm just going to put the bottom tray so the bottom tray is in second step so now I'm just going to, this is just baking soda, just put, sprinkle it around, that will get the, uh, any of the odors out. What the vinegar did was loosen up all the, uh, all the, uh, the, the grease and stuff. So now the baking soda will clear up all the, the smell. Uh, you should not, should, should never use bleach with stainless steel product. Uh, just use this method so that way it will be protected. Uh, so I'm just going to run it again at the hot cycle and then I'll be done. So again, so this is pretty clean. I just add the uh, baking soda to finish it off. Now the machine is completely clean, ready to go. So I'm just going to check the filter. It's have a little bit of debris. I'm just going to wash it, then put it back in, and then I'm ready to go for a load. I put back the racks and the filter. Now machine is complete. The washing 